Je m'appelle Claudine Hubert, je suis directrice artistique et directrice générale par intérim d'Oboro. Donc, Oboro, c'est un centre d'artistes autogéré. Puis, nous, notre mandat, c'est de faire de la diffusion, de la production, la médiation culturelle, la recherche en art contemporain, plus spécifiquement dans les arts numériques et arts visuels. Et euh, quand euh, le comité artistique d'Oboro a décidé de consacrer l'année 2017 aux artistes autochtones, on a vraiment le conseil à inviter Skaunali comme artiste Ganyan Gehaga en territoire Ganyan Gehaga à présenter son travail pour lancer cette année. My name is Skawanadi. I'm a Mohawk of Gahnawage and a contemporary visual artist. The exhibition is called Tomorrow People. I called it that because I am using avatars. There's an avatar in every work. An avatar to me is a metaphor for the future. Both the technologies we might be using in the future and also the type of person we want to be in the future. My specific interest in the future is ensuring that Indigenous people appear in the future. When you think about Native people, you most people often see in their mind's eye old pictures, black and white sepia-toned images of Native people wearing buckskin, maybe sitting next to a teepee. There are very few images of Native people in the future using new technologies, maybe flying spaceships. There's not even anything, any much of us using computers. I think that artists in Montreal are very interested in social justice. I think this is a time right now uh, on the planet where we need to come together basically to fight big business, protect Mother Earth. I'm also seeing a lot, of, a lot more Indigenous artists. I'm seeing a lot more exhibitions of Indigenous artwork, which is very wonderful because there was such a, a big lack of that for a long time. So that's, uh, that's where I'm seeing Montreal headed and Montreal art. I think that so much of North America's wealth and actually the world's wealth, even Europe, is built upon the colonization of Native people. And I think that one thing that artists can do is they're not history teachers, but they can help the general population open their eyes and minds and hearts to important issues that perhaps uh, newspapers or history books uh, might not present in as Um, palatable away. And so in that way I think Indigenous art is, is quite important.